Up until this point, I didn't commit fully, like 100%. I'm still like here, currently like a tourist, with the visa on arrival, like every other tourist is. And this is something that will change today. I was looking to belong when I already found my After four and a half months, this beautiful home that served us well, this little tent, will no longer be our home. We will move today. Bye bye. Probably next time we will sleep in a tent like this. It will be ours. Let's see. <laughs> I want to show you something. Look at this from the archives. <laughs> this is the day, 17th of August, around nine years ago, 17th of August in 2015. This was the first day that my feet touched the Balinese earth. And over the past nine years, I spent a lot of time in Bali and I still spend a lot of time in Germany and in other places in the world, in Australia and in New Zealand and in Spain and in like, I explored a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. But somehow my heart always led me back to Bali. And while for the majority of these nine years I was still traveling a lot, Two and a half years ago, the moment came where I sensed that it's time to ground down. When my son has announced his arrival on this physical plane, it became more and more obvious that it's time to ground down. But up until this point, I didn't commit fully, like 100%. I'm still like here, currently like a tourist, with the visa on arrival, like every other tourist is. And this is something that will change today. And I couldn't be happier about this step. Mm. Mama Bali, you got me. I'm yours. I promise to be of service. I promise to give everything I have and everything I am as an offering to the thriving of this island of its inhabitants, its human inhabitants, its animal inhabitants, its plant inhabitants. I'm dedicated to give way more than I take, although I love receiving your beautiful fruits. Thank you for that. Mm. Mm. Right in this moment, the sun comes out. It's beautiful. I feel as is home here on this island is no other place in the world. So I'm ready for the step. Ready to ground down fully. On the road, I've been away for far too long. But now I'm on my way back home. I hear the west winds calling. Bye. Can we take the Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 For you to fall into my arms. Sign here. Here. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Right tongue. So people cannot forfeit your 
signature. Wow. That's why we do this. Thumb here. Okay. Right thumb. Now you're going to take it. <laughs> <laughs> This topic of settling down, grounding down is uh, a very essential one for me because after so many years of being a digital nomad and traveling around the world from one place to the next with a certain restlessness, with a certain notion of oh maybe this next adventure there will be something really nice really valuable really important really fun oh no no maybe maybe this one over there on the other side of the planet like this narrative that's driving so many people to constantly explore always on the hunt for the next big thing can be potentially cured by the medicine of grounding down by the medicine of the of really developing roots and this gets accompanied by a shift in the value system that really doing something for the for the long run with a broad perspective um, fulfills me more and feels more profound and more meaningful than the next quick dopamine hit by a flight booked spontaneously to the other side of the planet and the next exotic adventure. Really, this yesterday we visited a, a piece of land and there was a super old durian tree and it was probably there for already for 15 years, maybe 20 years. And the idea to plant a tree now and until Leo, my son, will be a teenager, we won't benefit from this tree. But then he and maybe even his children or he, his grandchildren will be nourished by this tree. This whole notion really touches me. And that's something that's impossible if we are still perpetuating this fast, quick, here, there, travel, always looking for the next big thing. And that's so interesting to see in these Bali hotspots like here, right now we are in Ubud or in Changu or in Uluwatu, like the places that people think of when they think of Bali, which is for me not the real Bali. <laughs> like in these places, there's a kind of instability caused by people being here for two weeks, for a month, for two, for half a year, and then moving on to Thailand or to India or to Costa Rica or whatever, always looking, always searching. But I'm sick of that. I want to build something truly meaningful, something truly lasting, true long-term relationships, true long-term relationships with other people, true long-term relationships with the land. And maybe that's something that changes when you become a parent. I don't know. For me, it coincides with this beautiful shift in my life. The shot you saw earlier where we are were signing the papers like this was not filmed by me this was filmed by my dad I was signing and he was like oh wait isn't this something that we should film like for the vlog and like in moments like these I realize how much alignment there is and how incredibly grateful I am for being so 
like value connected and not only with my dad with my mom too this morning i received the whatsapp for her, from her that she just finished my audiobook and she loved the process and she's super proud of me and she is excited to see me again and so on and like how crazy incredibly crazy i am with like doing probably everything different than what is accepted in the mainstream and my parents being not only full, full supportive but really being all in on this path too I got to the raw vegan diet because of my mom and my dad is building <laughs> building a new paradigm living space with me here in in Bali that's like so rare and I cherish that so much and it was definitely a process like for 10 12 years in the making this was not something that would have been possible like a decade earlier it's it's me walking my path like all in and letting everybody be on their path too and then being an inspiration instead of forcing somebody to do something and why are we always searching because we didn't receive what we truly needed in our earliest years like when we entered this physical plane most of us didn't receive the natural childbirth and the constant skin-to-skin -skin contact that we truly crave and that is necessary for us to develop this deep trust into life and since this is lacking for the majority of homo sapiens we are always searching and true healing is only possible through grounding down and through developing strong really reliable long-term relationships with other human beings and with the land with mama gaia and that's why grounding down feels like not only the right step for me and to let go of all my baggage that I'm still carrying with me after these three, 34 years on uh, this planet and at the same time to build a place where people can grow ground down and where this profound healing process can take place and we can be beacons of light for many more people out there. Yeah.